KSPW Weather with Chief Meteorologist Lee Sullivan. Good evening, everybody. A little bit of a cool down today. Still pretty mild. Had some high overcast, too, and some patchy fog there in the morning. I got a 69 in Santa Cruz, low 70s up in Boulder Creek in Ben Lomond, and a 75 in Watsonville, around the bay and into the seaside in Monterey, uh, back to the 60s now, middle and upper 60s. Uh, still got uh, low 60s to low 70s between Carmel and Carmel Valley, though, and a 76 in Big Sur. Uh, you work your way inland, and again, 70s and 80s were still going. That was actually cooler than yesterday. King City 87. They had 90 yesterday. I know it's all relative. Middle 70s uh, for everybody in the Santa Clara Valley and a 77 in Hollister, so still pretty warm, uh, certainly by November standards and above average. 64 in Tahoe, so uh, not making any snow and uh, not much on the ground, although Mammoth is open. They're pretty high. Their summit, uh, 11,000 feet. 84 in Fresno, 89 in Bakersfield today, and middle and upper 80s even all the way down on the beaches of Southern California. So it was summertime here in November, but that will eventually be coming to an end, but not quickly. Uh, radar showing some returns, but none of this is reaching the ground. I suppose if you were way off the coast on a boat, you might get a drop or two under that batch. But of course, we're here and it's just basically clouds. When you see blue on the radar, uh, that is the radar beam shooting into the clouds, seeing some moisture, but that is not going to reach the ground. You need to see the yellows and the oranges. That's the heavier stuff. And that's what makes it all the way down. And we're not expecting that. Uh, most of what is reaching the ground is on the far northern corner of the state up towards Crescent City. And again, we could get a few showers down uh, to about Napa, Sonoma, and maybe even into San Francisco. Uh, there's a couple of batches off of the Big Sur coast, but again, most of that will be drying on up. The area of low pressure is headed northward. It is going to drag the front through here, though. So we certainly have all of this overcast, and uh, we certainly also have a little bit of fog forming, and we could get a little patchy drizzle. But overall, again, the real showers will be up to our north, and then uh, this system will pass us on by. So this goes north. Through the course of the day on Saturday, we start clearing out. High pressure builds back in, so this is not opening the storm door for us in any way. As high pressure builds in on Sunday, our temperatures uh, become quite mild again after they cooled off a little today. More rain for the Pacific Northwest Monday, and it'll actually be that low and that cold front, which will change things up for us. But again, this is not until next Tuesday, but the models have been showing this pretty consistently now for about four or five days. So we're gaining some confidence that we will see a pattern shift. These are your temperatures. You'll notice something. They're not changing very much through the weekend, so we do stay pretty mild. It's mostly 60s and 70s going. The bigger change, again, comes with that front next Tuesday night into Wednesday. You can certainly see now that's some colder air, and that's what we would be expecting to head our way as we head into November and December. Uh, with this front, we should see some rain and lowering snow levels in this year. We got a ways to watch that. That again is not until the middle of next week. Tonight though, 48 to 54, mostly cloudy. Again, a little bit of fog. Is there a slight chance of maybe uh, some mist and some drizzle? Yes. Is there a chance of maybe a sprinkle up in the Santa Cruz Mountains? Yes, but that would be about it. Again, we got a front passing over, so we won't rule anything out completely. But again, widespread showers, not in the forecast. Morning overcast tomorrow, mid 60s uh, to middle 70s. So again, we're still fairly mild with this front because it really doesn't have any cold air coming with it. 60s and even some 70s going in the Bay Area tomorrow into the Santa Clara Valley. Low 70s should do it. 73 in San Jose, 74 in Hollister. So pleasant enough. There'll be a lot of overcast in the morning, but it should break up and you should get some sun in the afternoon. 69 here in Salinas. Still got middle 70s going in King City. So still pretty mild down in the valleys and middle 60s around Monterey and Seaside with low 70s for Carmel Valley and 73 in Big Sur. Santa Cruz and Watsonville about 69 and will be about the same up around Boulder Creek and Bonnie Doon with upper 60s. Your KSBW eight day forecast looks like a good race day on Sunday for the half marathon. 60s and 70s warmest spots will be away from the coast. Monday mostly sunny 68 to 78 so we warm up a little before we're really going to cool on off. Now again next Wednesday and Thursday chance of showers Wednesday highs only in the 50s and low 60s so that's going to feel like a pretty good change for us and then we will gradually warm up from that as we head towards the following weekend. Your overnight lows instead of upper 40s to middle 50s will be down into the low 40s to upper 40s by next week but in between still pretty mild at night. Not too bad. No, no. pretty okay. good forecast. All right. Okay.